Hey everybody, Hooker TV X, Common Sense. I'm gonna say some shit I haven't said ever. Ever. Subscribe, like, and comment, and share. I rebooted this channel to try and save the youth. It may be in a harsh way, but it's necessary. You can't put a kid in the corner no more. They'll turn around and blow your fucking head off with a Draco. You get what I'm saying? All that soft shit. Oh, okay, you don't gonna be on punishment. Punishment? This nigga just killed two people. You tell my goddamn punishment? He punishing you. And I do this for the situation that happened with my son to where he's doing 30 years in prison at the age of 16. No driver's license. No shot on his 21st birthday. Uh, no rental. He ain't rented nothing. He ain't nothing. So everything that we do and, and it's easy to us, his kids is never going to see that. All that nice shit is over. Support it. We got to save these kids, man. It don't matter if we only save one. At least we did something. We could go up there with our little one save, and guys are going to kick us right on through. And we're going to go hang out with everybody. Toast up and shit. It's not going to hurt. Let's get it going. Let's get it goddamn going. Every kid and youth deserves a shot at life. Thank y'all for y'all time. Hey everybody, Pookie TV X, Common Sense. Everybody heard it by now. Walmart um, manager goes into the staff break room and start letting off shots at his employees. A video surfaced of him laughing and choking with the employees. I'm not sure if that was the same day, a different day. I'm not sure. But what would pop in this nigga's mind to say, you know what? I'm about to shoot all these motherfuckers up in here. Everybody got to go. Because if I got to go, they got to go. Just take yourself out, nigga. You won't have to worry about it because you won't see him. But no, you're going to be a coward bitch and shoot everybody in that fucking room. And traumatize everybody in that fucking room. Because you're a goddamn lunatic. Because you got damn self-conscious. Because you got damn lame. At first, I thought you was a Puerto Rican. I was like, damn, that's a Puerto Rican? No, it's a nigga. Or a lookalike. I don't know. You shoot all them people. And then shoot yourself. This shit is crazy out here, man. This world is going to hell in a handbag. Think about the mind frame a person got to do to be in that type of shit, man. Think about what he was thinking about, like, what the fuck is wrong. It makes me think of, like, it. a demon jumped into these people's shit. Like, people that do them killings and shit like that. Like, a demon jumps into them. And they, and they just crash out. Crash the fuck out. It's becoming more and more running down people in parades. Going inside clubs, shooting gays in the ass. <laughs> I'm <fall. laughs> I ain't mean, I ain't mean to say that shit. <laughs> anyway, shooting people, going to schools, shooting people. And it's not, be, it's not, it used to be all white kids. It used to be all white kids. 
Now to the point where it's Mexicans, Blacks, it don't goddamn matter. The person that loaded his guns inside a hotel in Vegas spraying down at a concert of people. People want to go visit their favorite celebrity and shoot them fucking dead. This is spiritual. This is spiritual warfare. And if your mind ain't right, and you naive and you still sleep and believing in this bullshit ass system, you're acceptable to that. You're weak. The demon could do damage with you, with your damn vessel. This is what happens when you're not woke. He could, they had no evidence, he had no letter that he wrote, nothing. It's like he it's like he just snapped. We gotta start seeing how much more it is to this type of shit. If you can study brains of CTE, study these motherfuckers' brains. Cause obviously they shit wasn't right. It's like it's just constantly, every day, constantly shot, killed, shot, killed, robbed, killed, killed, shot, kids, shot, grandparents, shot. This shit crazy. How the fuck is this? How the... What, put, what goes into your mind to make you do some shit like that? You had no enemies in that room that they said... Because you was obviously laughing and joking with him in that video. Knowing in your mind what you going to do. Knowing in your dumbass mind what you going to do. A real spirit would have sniffed that out immediately. You had some bad times and now you want to put your pain on other people. And other people's family and take yourself out so nothing can be done about it. It's just over. That's some bitch ass shit, man. That's some bitch ass shit. If you're gonna do, if you're gonna go, um, if you're gonna crash out, before you do that, go hit a few banks and leave some money for your family and for your funeral. You might as well. You might as well goddamn well. Shit crazy, man. This world is... You can smell, you can feel the tension from evil. When people are killing for no reason, just to do it, this is insane. This is in goddamn insane. This is a goddamn problem. Kids is getting younger and younger. Shooting shit. 14 year old boy shot somebody at a party. <laughs> Another 14 year old shot a girl. What the fuck is going on? This demonic force is here. And it's to the point to where the media and all these big businesses can put kiddo kitty porn with BDSM straps and shit and not give a damn. Just like somebody, they gotta clear all that shit. That shit gotta clear before it hits the magazine. It got to clear. So everybody fucking knew. And they went on ahead with it like, fuck it. They slowly breaking people down, trying to make them think that shit's okay. That shit far from okay, my nigga. Far from it. It was disgusting. But they ain't going nowhere. They haven't had no lawsuit. They haven't had nothing. And they won't. 
and won't. Rest in peace to them people that lost their life in that Walmart. To their condolences to their family and the one that was suffering from it. It should have never happened. You can't trust shit out here. Stay focused. Don't be trusting everybody. Now that this back door shit is official, everybody want to do it now. It's not just like a fad. Everybody want to back door somebody. Life is not a game, and it's a gift. It's a gift. And, and, you, and you turn it into a fucking nightmare. We are in the last days. Being in the last days. Before, you couldn't really see it. Now, it's right in your fucking face. Smacking you in your fucking face. And telling you what. What you gonna do. <sighs> Sad news, man. Sad fucking news. <sighs> Common sense.